<laughs> so, in so long, yeah, I want to thank the Rabbeinu Shalom. I want to thank the Rabbeinu Shalom. Ad ain't shit. So much to be thankful for. And I want to thank Rabbi Yosef Yafi, to Kalashan, to any time, Kavish Kalcha Pratis. I want to thank Mayim Kalev for everything. There's so much thankfulness going on, there's no end to it. That's my issue in life. How could I thank more? Like the pitching and so. That was his issue. It's, a, it's an issue. It's mamish an issue. How, you can't thank him enough. I get nervous when I daven too much. What are you davening so much? Thank. You're getting carried away. You're off the derech. Thank. Are up the derech. Right there. He's the one. They give me this. Give me that. But it's ruchni. I don't care. Thank. You're forgetting every, so much good stuff going on. You're forgetting everything. You're busy. Well, I need this. And I talk alone with Hashem. It's a big Indian. They were talking. To, uh, it's, a big, it's a big Indian. There's one Indian I know. Thank you. Don't bother me. Nothing else. Nothing counts. You came to this world. Believe me, I hold more, even though Navarnik was talking about First of all, I asked Reb Chaim Halper once, what do you do? What's your idol when you're not doing anything? What's going on in your life? I'm thanking, I'm thanking, I'm thanking. Everybody's, all the big guns understood that before anything. You better get into that or else the Baraglam, there you go. Chasper Khalila, we can judge them. We don't know them, but the lesson, no thanking, that's it. That's what happens. <coughs> you know, you no know, thanking, no. This is no good. <coughs> get scared. What do you get scared? Because <coughs> he's so worried. You're a virus. You know, you have to worry about your virus, so you get scared. That's what they were worried about. You know that? Give us a type of you think of it's lame. They're worried about their virus. You're worried about your sins. You're not allowed to worry about your sins all day. Bug off with your sins. Ain't sorry you spoke. You got, you got your Yom Kippur. Don't sit down, try to do something, and now get lost. Move. There's so much work in the world of thank you, thankfulness. There's so much work. Get moving on it. So much to be thankful. What should I say today? I took my class on a trip to play ball. That's what we do this time of the year. Every class gets a chance, so we played ball. Half the class didn't want to play. So I was busy with half the class. We went through a whole pair of mishnahis in the dugout. The other kids were playing ball. We were learning I went through a whole pair and they all wanted to. Then I took them for a walk in the forest. Then I went to this, then that. So I told myself, why don't you be thankful? You're, you're a devoted Rebbe. You're not such a gear. You, you did, maybe as a teacher for the times you didn't do these things. Usually when I go to the ball field, I take out my muscles and say, if I get moving. That's what I do. I have an hour myself. Let's learn. Then I pick up my head a little bit. I say, hello, how's the game coming? You know, show a little interest. And then I'm yet say, you know, this time I went all out because half the class wasn't playing balls. So I spent time saying, I'm a great Rebbe. Why did you thank Hashem for that? It's a big schuss. Look what you did. Thank your head off all day long. That's not just one time. Shot deal. Look what I did. I was gave myself a gave, she gave me cases. I came home, I could barely move. I was walk, walk walking in the forest, walking here, walking there, to make the kids happy, to keep them entertained, and trying to think of ideas, make up new jokes. I gotta get scha till Shemayim for that stuff. How lucky I am. A little more devoted as a Rebbe. What a bracha, do you think of <laughs> my head somewhere else? Believe me, I'm worried about this Saveira, that Saveira, this Saveira, that Saveira. Good luck. The frummies don't know how to thank. You want to be from? Learn how to thank. Thank your head off day and night. Channel your from guy, just say thank you all day long. You'll be all right. Nothing else, nothing. I had a vote, the Miraglum, a tiny. They started off saying something nice. They do. It is good. So Rashi says, when you want to say something bad, you start off with good. And I want to say also maybe, maybe another pshat. They talk is so good, but they saw bad too. So 
And Zabas follow with Rash. That's a nice thing to say. That's what we're looking for. That's what it is. But, but, when you start off, when you see something good, stay there. Don't say, but, stay there. Don't move from that. You know what? Tully, then you sure. Toy bar, it's my, my, extreme. Lachmeno, and we'll wipe them out. It's a joke. They were extreme. The only way to go is extreme. Umaragam were good people. They were thankful people. I can't believe they weren't. So how'd they get us? So I'll tell you, I'll say my shot. Because he ate so hard, the kvetch. That's there all your life, no matter what. And the only way to go is to go extreme. Everything's good. How do you say it's good? Hashem will make it good. Those are the rules. Even when you go to warfare, you had so many Nisim already. You're worried about, the, well, you got to be careful. You know, you know it's baloney. That's another schmooz. That's the simple shot. They were missing Betachem. But if you're in a thank you mode, and you're always thanking Betachem and Betachem all day long, then you don't fall into this stuff. And you, they did see good, but you don't know. Asa saw good. Yeshirov. I got a lot of good things. Asa's not bad. I wish, you know, most people would, most people say, well, I have a little good stuff, but a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> or whatever. I mean, the brain, even though people go around, oh, Hashem is so good to me. How much is that really part of that system? There's a lot of kvetcherai going on you don't even know about. It's sitting all over the place. And the shama is loaded with kvetching, kvetching. They say we're gogulim from Dara Midbar. And we're here to be Masak in there. Kvetch. Now you're going to see one pasha after another. Miragla, with Kairach, with, eh, it's all over the place. With Tzayamadli. And the best people are falling into all these type of avarus of complaining and complaining. They're going to lose their Elam Abba soon. It says in Shulchan Aruch about them with the boxes. Was, he says they weren't, they tried to do Tshuva. The Mogan Abram says, the Tshuva, it wasn't this Kabul. They did Tshuva for sure. It wasn't this Kabul. Wow. The Tshuva wasn't Mogan Abram. Someone just showed me. And according to the Shlaka, they were really tzaddikim. But you kvetch, you're looking for, you're asking for trouble. You don't, you dare kvetch. You're the greatest people we had. But you kvetch, better be a yukul. Be a nobody. No kvetching. Everyone else, uh, those who didn't. If you're a nobody who doesn't kvetch, you'll get a lamaba. But if you kvetch around, you're going to lose everything. It's so dangerous. Don't get near the whole sugya. You know how hard that is? After much is a whole day. That's what I'm talking about the ball game. There's so much more things going on. I try to do it. It's a futile attempt. More you got to do. More. Day and night. There's so much. I had the best shavuos I ever had. I got to talk about it every single day. Not I spoke about it once or twice. Every day. Come on. I learned the veld more than ever. I, I, it was a great shavuos. Talk about it again. There's a lot of schoolers. Believe in all the schoolers. You'll have a great shavuos. Everybody find. Look. Make a bedikas chametz. What do I have to thank for them? Not had a great seder machabrusa. And I, I was right for a change. <laughs> That's the best part. And I put him in his place. Oh, does he say thank you? Don't stop being a Muslimic. Well, I should have been nice to stop. You put him in his place. You were right. Stop thanking. I put my Chabruz in his place once and for all. He deserves it. Now, sometimes people call me. I'm supposed to be happy that if I help people, it really, it's a thrill. I'm able to do things. But what happens if I'm not? There's a lot of people, you know, from some, they're not even there to be helped. Some people are there to air out or to to nudge me a little bit. I'm joking, I'm joking. The, the OCD, I have a few. There's some guys, they, they go call, to, every day, oh, why things I have so much. The phone never stops ringing. I say, you think I'm so popular? It's the same guy with OCD. <laughs> I'm so popular. But there are a few OCD guys that take care of a big chunk of my stuff. It's all, oh, it's you again, okay? How are you doing? So, so the brother, what's wrong with being thankful that people need me? What's wrong? As soon as you find out some, they need someone else more than me, 
then you're dead. Fashtek, so can time of COVID. Be happy. Every inch. Be happy. Look, I have vodka. This vodka is good news. Don't make away with vodka. That's why I'm the Russians. I want the Russians to win. I need <laughs> vodka. I don't care who, what, when, Ukraine. I don't know who they are. I don't know him. I don't know them. I don't know the, the whole server. I know one thing. I need vodka. Whoever has vodka, I'm on your side. I need my vodka. That's it. Give, send me some good vodka. I have some Russian vodka here. Where's the stuff? I have a big oh, bottle. Gosh. Here it is. Here it is. Where's it? There it is. is it oh, there one right there. No. Oh, all the way in the back. This, yeah, you got it. You got it. This is a real Russian vodka. Take a look. Russian standard. It's in Russian letters yet also. Vodka, you see? Now you know why I'm on the Russian side. I need my vodka. Don't bother me. Okay, okay. I need my vodka. It's important. I don't know about you, but vodka is a bit. There's so much, there's more vodka. I'm vodka. I, between you and me, between Jack and vodka, I'm a vodka guy. That's it. I have Russian uh, roots. I like vodka. What can I do? I like vodka. Anyway, so I have my vodka, and I have so many good things in my life, and I could, and I can breathe. I don't care. I'm sorry. Say thank you for breathing. No, again, but that's a, that's that's what? It's boring? Get out of here. Thanks again for breathing. You said it yesterday? Chazorah. You know how many times the HR chazorah this problem and that problem? Chazan. And he started and you said this and he said that. And I shouldn't have said this. Okay, now I have to tell over. Getting phone calls. That Nisa, I just just hit. Reb Yosef just tells me, I, I, irresistible. Reb Yosef has a story. It's not it's not a story. This guy's watching me for three three months. The Shalom Bayis is on the rocks. The wife, the, the family can't stand the husband. The husband is a non-entity. The wife is the hero, and he has to live. I know a few such cases. Boy, ain't a raya pnei gehenim. I know a woman like that. That they all hate her. I remember at the Hasana. I don't want to talk about it. It was a little embarrassing. He was there, all the kids. But he was, and she, uh, oh, you're part of the family? She went to Gehenim. And I'm a, and then a man. Where he, where she's there. They're always sending her gifts, you know. Ma, the best mother of the world. And he sits, stands there and watches the show. And he has, he's, he's, <laughs> Well, he's not a bad person, but if he would have been brought up a little better, like mommy's the hero, Tati's the nebuch. I know a lot of these type of kids. Well, we got one of those cases where the lady was the big hero and the man wasn't worth a penny until the man decided to watch Betacha Weekly. Uh, to read Betacha Weekly, he started reading. Here it is. Anybody wants to know? This is called Betacha Weekly. Which kind did he read? The, this kind? This guy. He read this guy. And he covered a cover for three months. At the end of the three months, the family is in a new world. Tati is the hero. And mommy, not a bitch. She's a nice lady, but Tati is the hero. Did you hear this story? It's fresh off the press. Rabbi, Rabbi Yaffe just told it to me. Am I right? Did I tell it good? What? How do, you make both heroes? How do you make both heroes? That's enough to get her to start reading. I have, in fact, I have, I have a special for ladies. Where is that? I have a whole ladies department. They're getting together. It's very, very special ladies. They bring my stuff. I think they're all. They went like hotcakes. Everybody likes them. They look just like the Spring Hill. It's the same idea as the Spring Hill Times, but it's, 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 it's different. For my ladies, it's a different. Just started. They're doing a phenomenal job. Anyway, but now I'm going to tell you. I heard my one of my nephews told me in New York the shmur is listen to Mandel for 40 days and you're a changed person. Now I'm going to tell you. Sometimes Mandel is dangerous. Watch out. This is a true story. Uh, about a month ago, I went to Lakewood Commons. I met two young like, Oh, how are you? Oh, you're giving out the betachah weekly. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And both two guys gave me compliments. One guy calls me over. He smirked, smirked on his face. 
I got a story for you. What happened? He had something wrong with his nose. He needed an operation on his nose. And they packed it up. It wasn't terrible, but it's a, you got to watch yourself after that. For three, four days, he was out of, out of commission. The only thing he could do was watch. So he watched Torah anytime. After two days, his wife asked him, do not watch Mandel. Why not? You're laughing so hard, it's, all the bandages are flying off your nose. It's no good. You hear the story? Don't watch Mandel because he's too funny. Is that something? That's a great story. I love it. Don't watch Mandel. He's too funny. You're going to laugh too much. Look what's going on. Anyway, ah, so it's thankfulness to the Avishter. I know a guy calls me up. I'm very good at this. You could do the same thing. Court cases. Court cases, this stuff. There's somebody who's trying to kill him. A mamish, roast him, like do a job, grill him. And he's working on him. The guy's been calling me for five years. And I told him from day one, nothing's going to happen. And every time he calls me up, but this time it's really bad. Yeah, I says, yeah, this time it's really shtosim avalim. I'm in the mayam, but he really... Now the authorities, so and so, got a whole, a whole organization to back him up to kill this guy, and now he got this. Every time he's something new, something now we're really gonna kill him. Now, like Yosha Eisman, they're never gonna touch him. Don't they feel stupid? It's years, they're going nowhere. So yeah, now it's really what happened. He, he's he's going around. He's finishing mesechtas. He laughs at the world. I, I say on him the same thing. It's stupid. To waste their energy to make themselves, it's to be Mekadashem Shemai, when it's Sadiq, like Rabasha, the way he takes all this stuff. That's all it is, but nothing's ever gonna happen to him. I know it. But this fellow, for five years he's calling me, and he's got a real dangerous character in his life, and I live, and I just got a call now. The last time was the worst. Now it's really serious. Now they have a certain authority, and they already go to the courts, and there's lawyers, and there's boom, 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 boom. And he, uh, they just found out. Now I'll tell you exactly what happened. The, uh, and I laughed at the whole thing. He almost scared me, by the way. This time it was really bad. But, um, but you know what I told him? I told him like this. I told him, uh, uh, this is what happened. Yeah. So I says, you have the Abishu with you. He's grand as... He's a good customer. He's a little to me mystic. He's my type. Anyway, so I told him, nothing's going to happen again. I just got a message that the one who is on his case was just told by the Besden that he has to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> How do you like that one? He has to see, he must see a psychiatrist. I just got that message today. Said, no, you don't have yet, but, but now they're going to see he's got more problems coming. And I say, by the way, I, in a nice way, I've told him, you're the problem. What are you so, what are you so scared of? The less scared you, uh, the reason why he's Taka coming out of this with flying colors, they haven't touched him, nothing. The reason why is because he, you're not afraid nothing happens. You're scared, you got problems. I am not afraid of these authorities. I make jokes out of them. I'm not serious. I told you what happened when I went to the to the thing. I told you that the, what's it called? Uh, the, what Adire Adire Tyra. I wouldn't. I didn't know if I have to go there or not. By the way, I'm going to tell you something. When I was there, I met a God of Israel. I don't want to see who. And he, first thing he asked me he says, "How come they made this?" That's the big question. What, what's it, what, what are you doing this for? Why did you do it? Like, what in the world have we got to go close to your Gemara? Is Lakewood guy, you don't stop them from learning so fast? So I wasn't sure if I should go all together. Should I go? Should I not go? Between you and me, Reb Gershon Liebman would go. He believed in Chazak Zion big time. He used to run to all these things. And just It's good to know. Rabbi Miller would go nowhere. And I'm somewhere across. So when I'm, I don't have Rabbi Miller to tell me. And I have Reb Gershon. So I don't know what to do. So I decided the Abish of my Sure enough, a guy got bought me a ticket. Mandel, I got you a ticket. He left it in my mailbox. One of my gabayim. 
I got a lot, a lot of gabayim you should know. They were all filthy rich. They, every every night they see me, they milk me. You know, there's a story. There's a story with the Rebbe. Listen to this. The Rebbe was had, had a bunch of. The Rebbe was. Um, the Rebbe was busy with Kitlach till here. He had a mountain of Kitlach. And the end of the day, everyone goes home, and the Rebbe has a bag, and he goes like this, and he goes, he gives a whoosh, and there's money, money all over the hundreds, thousands, gelt, the more gelt, the more gelt. He gives a whoop into the bag. Then he looks at his gabai and he says, No, can you do what I did now? He says, to go just like this without a smirk that I couldn't do. <laughs> you know, put, put it in there without smirking. How do you do that without smirking? <laughs> How do you do that without smirking? I did a job of these poor guys that come to me with money. I'm like, anyway, so that's the story. So my, oh, oh, I got all my God by him smirking. Having a good time. There was a Rebbe, I'm not going to say his name. It's a true story. He was a million dollar Rebbe, but he was an Isha Shalom. The Gabbai used to fight over him. And they, they, it's a Yudu and the Gabbai said, they kidnapped him. And he, he had Bashita, he's not saying anything. So they took full advantage of that Chita. So he was money, you know, you're a solid goal because he wasn't interested in money. The Gabbai, this, this is guilt, this man is worth. A lot of, he was a famous, world famous, Atzadik Yisoyed Oilam. He wasn't Stam a person. A malach, I went to him. Oh, he was, you know, everybody held from him. He was, uh, I just don't want to say his name because they kidnapped him. There was a car waiting outside and suddenly, whoop, he's gone. <laughs> the guy, he's the Rebbe, he's the Rebbe. He's the Geld, 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 the took away the they kidnapped him. He took him down at the other end of, the, of that city. Privately, I would tell you who it was. That's what they say. But I believe it. I remember when I used to go visit him. One time he's here. One time, no, there's a different group of Gabayim in charge. Right? <laughs> Here's the vice of the Gabay. He had it in the newspapers. Gabay, looking for Abba, 50 50. You ever hear that? <laughs> anyway, that's why I want to be an Abba. Because. Uh, they call and tell me a rub. People have called me lately, halacha shailas. What do you want from me? There's a rub right there. Give me out of this. Halacha, they want me to answer halacha shailas. I'm a bal musa. I don't have to answer halacha. I'm, I'm a different type. I said, but I tell, I say like this. All the guys I know, I house the rub. I, must, I give everybody their heritage. As long as you can be the rub, I'll be the rub. I'm, I'm the one who gets the money. Galinsky used to say. He met, he once came to this town as far as she gives a kiss, kisses him over here. Here, I got nothing. Here, they kiss. <laughs> anyway, so let's get to the point. Now, where was I up to? Who? Adir 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 Oh, boy, was that a miser. I said, whatever the Abishta wants, that's what I'm doing. Suddenly, I got a ticket. It's in my mailbox. I call up the guy, my Balagola. He's also one of my gabayim. He's one of, he's a gabay that lives the other in the lake. When they call him up, oh, good, the Rebbe's coming. Yes, I'm coming. After 10, 15 minutes, I was looking for my Gemara on the way. I wanted to take along the Gemara. Poked, I'm missing that Gemara. On the way, I learned something. And I'm looking all over. And I never found it. And suddenly, hey, where's the ticket? The ticket's gone. I lost the ticket. I start looking a lot. Got 10 more minutes. The car's leaving. They're going to start at 530. You better move it. Get, okay, get, take it, take it. Here's my wife. You see, well, where'd you put it last? Take it, take it, take it. I'm looking all over the house. No ticket. So I says, 10 more minutes. Then it's over. 10 more minutes. It's still not here. Hello? I told the guy in the, in the car, in the, the guy that's my Balagola, I'm not going. I told him, I'm not going. You're not going? No, I lost the ticket. Go to ice. Five minutes after I lost the ticket, another one of my gabayim rolls in. What's that? Look, the Rebbe's going. I lost the ticket. You lost the ticket? I'll get you one. Ten minutes later, he comes back. And there's a hush of a ticket. He's going to put you on front, top, hush that ticket. I got a ticket. I call up another gabay. 
These guys left already. I had another guy who wanted to take me. Where is he? He was here today. I saw him before. He was, that's you. That's your father. He was going to call him up. And yeah, I'll, be, I'll take you. So I come there. But I really didn't care either way. You know, with Abish the Bonds, I come in there. As soon as I walk in, there's a guy standing at the door. First, I want you to know, until Bin Laden came, whenever I pass through like this, they never touched me. My wife, they used to chop her more than me. You know, who knows who she is. But me, he's all right. Right after Bin Laden attacked, remember the Misa with the Twin Towers? Right afterwards, forever. He's got a beard. Watch him. <laughs> he's dangerous. <laughs> it's funny. That's funny. I'm a, it's, anyway, but so, so, but I come in there. You see the guys, there's a lot of, yeah, but they tell you coming, places packed. It was beautiful. I loved it. And then, as soon as I walk in, there's a man standing over there like this. Check. Wait, wait. Stop before you go. Let me check. Check this. So I walk over to the guy. I said, sir, all these guys are good guys. They're harmless. I'm the only bad guy around here. <laughs> he was on the floor. He liked it. You know, it was a good. Oh, I like to do that. Then they told me how to get to my. I said, I get, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, three guys, not two, three guys who looked like they knew what we were doing. They sounded like they knew everything. Oh, you got that ticket? Go to the left. Right? All the, go down, down, down. That's it. That's where you belong. Okay? I go all the way down to the left. There's a man standing over there. He says, there's the thing. You got the wrong place. Go right back where you came from. All the way over there. There's a man standing over there. He's waiting for He'll take care of you. No, no. You sure? Positive, positive, positive. Okay. I go to this other guy. I ask him, you got the wrong place. I promise this is true. Every inch of it. No, no, no. You got to go up the escalator. To the right escalator. No, not to Make sure there's a guy standing. You see the guy? Yeah, you got him. That's where you have to. Not here. No, it's the wrong place. Okay. We go up to that escalator. The guy takes a look. You got the wrong place. You know what they told my guy? Now listen closely. I said, I don't believe in anything more than trying. I don't believe in more than trying. I tried. I went around like I'm a sugar nut. And by the way, after everything's over, the next day I found my original ticket was in the pocket. <laughs> I don't know why I never noticed it. But it wasn't there. I had to get a second one with more ticha. By me, every ticha is a mitzvah. It's for covered attire. So every tich is gold. I loved it. I go merry-go-round. By me, every inch is a bracha. It's Yesudim, takes away Averis. I was having, I loved it. I didn't have to hear no speeches. And after 10 minutes of running around like a chicken without a egg, head, I told, told your father, we're going home. We, we, we had enough. I was Yetzer. A tofel, <laughs> first of all, Chazal say, a tofel of Dvar Mitzvah as if you did it. You know, by Adam, Adam Zayman, if you, you, we don't even need you. You slept along, you're getting the exact same schach. The schlep along. So I believe I'm a schlep along. I'm part of it. It's done. I, I'll go home. I'll learn. I'll have, uh, I, I, it's done. But then maybe for, uh, okay. So I took a look around over there. I figured that's not look anymore where the seat, where it was supposed to sit. By the way, my, my gobby was supposed to sit on one end, me on the other end. So we saw a bunch of seats over there in the side. Let's go there. Yeah. They're all empty. Take the law in my own hands, and I'm, uh, that's it. Now, I, as I'm sitting there, I suddenly saw Rebaron Feldman. You could, by the way, one mazel that I, I didn't have such a fancy card as I thought. Because those, the Rabbanim, nobody saw. The Rabbanim have special seats. The special seats were in the garbage can. No, you couldn't see one of them. You, nobody knows which dignitaries came to that thing. They're all sitting down. You know, they saw all the bleacher guys you could see. And the one per, the one person who spoke, Ramal Kiel, him you saw on the screen. Plus, there's one guy standing next to him. It was done. So you didn't know anything, except I noticed my Rebbe, the Baron Feldman. What a bracha. I know it. I went berserk to see my Rebbe from Baltimore. He's my Rebbe. I went running. I got to see him. I stopped everything in the middle of the speeches. I'm running. And I start going here. No, you, you can't go through it. It is a bar. There's a, 
Oh, there's a bomb. Not, no bombs with me. I had enough. I'm going to go around like Parry with his pajamas. I had enough of that. Okay, let's go. We're jumping over the bomb. I told the guy. But I'm, I told him I'm a bad guy. No, there's no Mikhaim. I jumped over. My gamma came with me. And a whole bunch of guys came in. And getting over, I had about 10 guys holding me. I felt so good about that. I felt important. They helped me. And then I went straight to Rabbi Palmer. And he said, no, he's on that side. No, no, don't tell me. I found him. My, and he was just leaving. And I hopped him just in time. And I admired with him. It was Gamali. And I helped him up to meet him. I don't know what you guys. Come and I'll tell you for my Rebbe. What, what shouldn't I do for him? Especially him. Uh, anyway. But, but I'm, I'm not such a straight shooter. You know. I told you what happened with Bob. Am I, I told you about Bob. There's a security guy in my, my school. Bob. He has a gun. I'm friendly with Bob. So Bob tells him, Bob always tells me, oh, you're Mandel. Everyone tells me you're a legend. I'm a legend. That's nice to hear. So Bob gives me a boost every day. He says, oh, the legend is here. So how you doing, Bob? Yeah, shake it. You know, nice guy. He's always watching everything. If I don't park straight, Bob lets me have it. That's not the way you park. Oh, yeah, sorry, Bob, sorry. I'm learning. I'm a young guy. There's hope for me. <laughs> I'll learn how to park one of these days. Bob is like, you know, with his gun, he's a guy, you know. But kids said, one day I'm going down to school, and there's a big red, red uh, orange bus. Suddenly, it's almost 9 o'clock. I got to get to school. Suddenly, there's a big yellow bus. Stop. There's 20 cars. The world stops. And the little bubbler. Uh, the mommy's standing there. A Yankee, Yankee, did you? Uh, oh, you forgot your lunch. You forgot your brief. Well, just one second. Uh, one second. Uh, no place. Another 20 cars. This is not for me. Then, then Yankee forgot his briefcase and Getzel also forgot his <laughs> I got to get to school. And I'm not waiting for these guys. Now, the, I could e easily go here where it says do not enter. The first place. The second place where you're supposed to make a bigger trip. There you're supposed to go in. So I, I'm a decent guy. I always go to the second one. Not today. Ah, uh -uh. Do not enter. I am entering. I'm not going to stand here until Mashiach comes. <laughs> the, the next, the next, Berla, did you forget this? And the mommy, my bad. You know. No. And I went to do not enter. And I come right into the school on time. Bob standing there. Uh, I saw what you just did now. <laughs> How come you did that? You know, you went the wrong side. Oh, Bob, I didn't know you were looking. <laughs> That's what I told him. And he says, Bob, tell me the truth. You saw that bus? Tell me the truth. I always go the right way. Isn't there a time to break the rules? The truth, Bob. I guess you're right. There's a time to break the Bob. Even Bob's on my side. You can't be as I'm a tum tum, you know. And I'm going to say, it's the same thing. Don't be, uh, uh, uh. break the rules. You try to learn Shavu as it didn't go. So take out a Maisa Bichel. Take out, do something else. There's a time to easy, be easy on yourself. Yaakov Kamenetsky once told me this. I was a nervous, whatever. Take it easy. Yaakov Kamenetsky told this to me. Take it easy. Take it easy. No? I'm a foolish of Yaakov told me. That's why I became like this. Uh, I would be Mikhaim. I'm joking. But anyway, what do I want to tell you? All right, we, we have to. The Maragun. Ah, Kolev and Yeshua. I'm telling you, I'm so inspired by both of us, especially Kolev. Kolev! Fapaks the whole world. Vayas! You know what that means? 600,000. Vayas! Sha! He wasn't scared of them. I'll tell you where he got them from. And they listened, at least for a minute. But the, the, that's why, that's Malchus. Because he realized, I can't stand up against them. So he went to the Abbas. He went alone to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm so inspired by that. I like to do that throughout my life. I once had big Nisa. I once had Mamish. Like, there was no way I was going to win. I was Those days, I was more from than today. I could fast too. I, could, I disappeared. 
in the middle of a whole big chasen, and I was alone with Hashem, and I dropped the whole, and I was alone, and I dove, and then I got everything I wanted. It was funny, everything. There's a big schooler, when you drop everything, go, okay, you, it's nice to know, you know, I want to be alone with that God is vocal. I'm telling you the Siyad Ishmael I had. I turned up, people till today don't know. How, I told you I have remote control. You know, sometimes I need, I need to control certain situations. I don't argue with people. I say, okay, I'm going to speak to Hashem. And especially when there's a big thing going on and you disappear. And it, Kola Ben Yafuna disappeared. And he said, Hashem, you got to help me out. I can't deal with 10 Miraglim. The daily Yisrael, I got to fight with them. You know, it wasn't an easy Nisayan. Go along through Hashem. And what did Hashem say? Vavdi Kola, he's mine, you know. You make you make me special, I'll make you special. You hear that? You hear it? You, hear it? you drop all your friends and say, I need a break. I got to be alone with Hashem. You do that. It's so precious to do that. He'll make you special. That's what he did with Avram Avinu. From the Avram Avinu, the whole world was against him. And that's why when Avram Avinu was burning in the fire, Gabriel Amalek wanted to go down to save him. And Hashem said, uh-uh. You'll save Hanani, Mishol, and Hazai. There's four. He's only one. One against the world. I'm also one. One Abishta. One saves one. So the Abishta himself saved the Brahma Vino. You get a special treatment if you're alone against the world. Ah, become an Avadiga. They're alone against the world. Everybody got to be. I'm alone. I'm not in a spell. When am I alone? I feel kola oilam. Chazal say like this. I feel kola oilam oimim loch. Rasha at tzadik ato ayei beinachah kerasha. You know that Chazal. I say the Chazal would be around today. They would change it a little bit. I feel kol ha'olam oimim lach rasha ato ayei beinachah ketzadik. That's what my gear said, and I mean it. Now they they don't think you're a Russia, but in your perception. I hold on Matzadik Yisrael Olam. You better hold like that. You'll come out so ahead. Well, I tell you the reason why Moshe Rabbeinu called Yeshua. What? Just stop him for him. You have to change his name. Give him a new stemple. Make him a hot big shot. Then he'll win. What do you do with the Levian? First shake him up. Pick him up. Now you can be a lady. First pick up. What, what did Kalman Yefuna first do? First I'm going to relate. I want to be like them. I'm one of them. Lift yourself up. I'm one of the others. Now you go back, you wipe them all out. I'm one of them. That's what I want to tell you. Lift, give yourself a boost. Always do that. I'm the best guy in Lakewood. I don't get, don't be in a spoil. You are the best guy. It's I am part of the Torah. If you're smart enough, just think of ideas why you're better. Anybody could be it, but if you're if not the Isaac game, you're going to sit down, every, you got to work on it your whole life. Because every day you're going to have a million voices. <laughs> Mandel. Well, you cut it out. You know what you did yesterday? What are you willing to look at that? Eh, and look at him and your never miss. The HR is never finished with you. You got to go to war whole life. I'm the best guy in the world. That's how this is a of our door. You'll get scar breaking minos. You say you're better than everyone else. It's It's hard. It's so hard to do that. Okay, let's get some more betachan. I'll tell you betachan stories. This is nerdy nerdy nerdy. I have two boys in my class. One of them is taken out by a tutor. This is going on all year. Now, I don't know what's going on. I have my lesson. He's not bad, but there's some other reading and uh, focusing and stuff that I'm not, I have no shakas with, but the tutor knows. It's towards the end of the year. I get hold of the tutor. I says, tell me, what's the story with that kid? The tutor was like, Shreklach. I says, uh-huh, that's what you say. I got to take care of that. See me in a week or two. I promise the true story. Watch. I doff could do that. You know who I am? You know who I am? Mandel, you never heard of me. Okay, you'll hear of me soon. I promise it's just happened. I walked away. I didn't take the kid's name. Not me. I'm not into that stuff. Did you get name right? 
Years ago, if I didn't get the name, I once down with my whole class, everyone had a talk except for one kid. The end of the day, I found out I spelled his mother's name wrong. It was a long, crazy name. So I, that's why he wasn't helped. Those days, I believed in the rules. Get the name. Now I'm kaifa in all the rules. You don't believe in the rules? Everything works, I promise you. I don't believe in the gantzahads. Don't give me this gantzahads. I care. It's enough. Yeah, but you got it in the middle of this, this, 40 days at the castle. No, 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 no. I said, I just told the person who's taking care of you, watch what happens. Two weeks later, just last week, a person comes over to me and says, Rabbi Mendel, I'm dealing with this kid for three years. He never did so well as the last few days. Something happened to him. That was me. I says, you know who that was? Yes, I know. I says, how about you taking some credit? No, no, no. It's Rabbi Mendel. Thank you so much. I'm blown up enough. Now you go. And I try to explain people. You're also, why don't you pick it up for me? Do it. Do it. Don't be so nispoiled. What people say, what they think. I hold for me. I did it with another kid in my class. He just started a new tutor. And he's also a very, very difficult kid. And the tutor said, if something happened, he suddenly like, He's going up. I decided, let's do something for these kids. You know, it's Philly could do. This guy called me up just recently. Mandel, I had Radifas for my wife and all my neighbors. Radifas, I don't remember anything. But Radif, you gave me one bracha. My wife is, leaves me alone. All the neighbors suddenly, they're my friends. You have to do that. You have what a wife is? You have us do that. Anyway. Don't be afraid of the world. Kola, you've disappeared. I'm alone with Hashem. Because he fought Pak Jehovah. These are giants. You know who they were. He said, he fought Pak, them going along to the Abishta. I'm alone with it. By the way, I've got to tell you something. Ramban says, Ramban says, sometimes it says Kola before Yeshua, sometimes it says Yeshua before Kola. And the one that the Abishta singles out, Abdi Kola, is Kola. Something special. Or Chaimakos speaks about him. The positive shot is Ekeb Ruach Echerism. He had a big Yetzirah. The one with a big Yetzirah who has to conquer it, he, he's my best friend. Yeshua, Moshe took care of Yetzirah. You, you didn't have a conflict. The one who's fighting, that's, that's, that's my best friend. That's the one. They used to single that calling. The one who's struggling, you hear that? Not the one that he's got to protect you with. The Rebbe gave him a brach. Yeshua, who gave me Who's done me? I have a lot to say about him, but it's not, it's not for now. No, volume. He also had a hard life. Think Yeshua had it easy? It's a Yalkut Shemani Mishle. You want to know who Yeshua was? He was started off being an Amaritz and he made his way up. Oh, it's a whole story with him. No, volume. But, but, Kalev. Now I'm going to tell you why Kalev is special. Because Kalev didn't have a Rebbe to take care of him. Kalev, I got nobody but the Abish. When you're one of those, you're in. I have nobody. And I'll tell you, he wasn't scared. He fapaked the whole chaver there. It wasn't easy. And he went away. I'm going to Hashem. I'm leaving you guys. And then he, and then he, and then he, vayas! You know what? He screamed at the whole car he saw and he got them to keep quiet. How did he do that? He fapaked them. He was tough. He was tough. They wanted to stone him. He was tough. Kolei ben Yafuya was tough. I have one Abish. I'm not scared of nobody. And he, that's why he was like, he had, look, obviously he had issues. He had a different Ruach. I'm seeing them all over. Rabbi Vashapchik. You got to meet the guy who gives it out. He's the sweetest guy around. One of my favorite Gaboyim, him and, uh, and, and Horowitz, these are the best. Get, get Lech raids. I'm seeing them all over the place. Anyway, when, when do we start with the questions? I'll, I'll, what are we up to? Another five minutes? I'll dodge until Mashiach. What? Two minutes. All right. This week's Parsha is the Parsha. There's no Parsha that's for us 
Shlach lecha noshim. You're going to speak lashon hara. They were started off saying good stuff, but then but no buts. Only Rabbi Miller says never verbalize a negative emotion not once. But you killed it. But everything's great. I'm I'm a happy guy. If you're one of these happy guys, just a few things bother you. Then guess he, I got company for you, Uncle Asa. He said, Yeshli Rav. I have a lot of stuff. It's a big madriga. I have a lot. You got to be a Yagi Yeshli Kyle. I have everything. I'm the best guy in the world. Don't put yourself down. I hold every year has to hold. Somebody, one of the questions last time was, I have anxiety. Why did Hashem do this to me? I said, there's one answer and nothing else. Because you're a special tzaddik and your anxiety is might see the whole Kla Yisrael. That's the only reason. And don't you dare ask for another one. <laughs> and if you're depressed, that's also the reason. Because depressed people, I've put the one sold somebody. He wants to say a mile on somebody. He says, he's like depressive. He gets like this. It means he's got an ashama. He's sabrachim. He's great. Don't make away being depression. You got to go around all day saying, I'm so happy. My anxiety, my panic attacks are delicious. I love them. When, when 